How's everybody doing today? I'm just gonna show you a fun trick I found out with the the CD shed. I found that if you take the flamethrower, hit the shed, everything attached to it disappears, and you can just keep stacking things on the shed if you wanted to. You can literally just stack anything you want. You want to have a bed in your refrigerator? You can have a bed in your refrigerator. <laughs> um, and this is more of a joke, but um, but you can see I'm actually mixing a lot of things to compact things. Like uh, like I said, the workbench, which some of these you can actually you do this anyways, but um, like I normally take a small stash, put it on a rug, and jam it underneath the workbench, or set the toolbox on the on top of here. Um, which you can do those things. Like this will just sit here on the workbench if you want a stash box right there. Um, but all this stuff is still functional. Like I can still craft. And then the vendor still accessible. I've got a stash box junk in here so I'll just drop another one here and show you even more so first thing you'd probably want to move is you'd probably want to put your your workbench here if you want to do this exactly how I have it this is the process so set your bench there hit a flamethrower and then you take your next thing and then you replace it it does help to have a reference but once you've done this a few times you can kind of get the idea of order replacement here And then you repair it. And then you hit it again. And you grab your next item that you want to put in place. And we'll push that one all the way back. item that you want to place place it repair and you can keep going and the cool thing that I found unless you do some really weird floating problems you may be able to blueprint and move this so you can literally have everything that you'd want in a quick movable fashion in one building if you wanted the ultimate small living you taught you mix that with the uh, the couch and the bed trick that I showed in a previous video which I'll show you that really quick it's easiest with this toolbox or supply crate if you have it we'll grab a couch I really like the uh, I really like the one with the, the blanket on it, but you can do this without um, without the box. If you wanted to use the big ugly couch, if that's what you have, then you can just literally take this couch, take you a sleeping bag, and place on it. But I don't find aesthetically that by itself looks great. Like it just looks kind of like poop, but the way I make mine is I take, you have to set it just like this, 
let's take this, turn it a little bit, and then you take your, I'm going to get just a smidge closer here. What I'm using is I'm using the couch as kind of a support because the sleeping bag does not want to go directly on to the box. It's probably easier on a foundation. Let me get this a little closer so I can shift that. Actually, let's go sit on the foundation where it can work because I'm dealing with the elevation as being dumb. All right, take that and you sit it on the couch. Get her lined up where you want it. That looks all right. And you take the whole thing and then you need to find a spot in your, your camp um, that it'll sink into the ground. Right about there. And it will just drop in. Just have to pick it up and drop it a few times. And however far it drops in will be, like if you see how it's kind of making the ghost of where it's placing, if you just see it drop just below, you can really tune in how far it drops. So now I have a bed and a chair in one. So you can sleep on the sleeping bag. As well as sit on the couch. It's kind of goofy getting in and out of it, but for aesthetics, it looks like you sleep on the couch. And if you want to have a really small, a really, really small format camp, this is a great addition to be able to have both a bed and a, and a couch. It would be really nice to just give us the option to, um, to just either sleep or sit on the couch and give us multiple click points. That would be awesome. Um, but this is a work in progress on making the smallest camp, which I actually think I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to rebuild this small place. I, I built a new camp yesterday. I just wasn't happy with it on stream. So I moved back to my normal location. But if this helps you make something fun and you like the videos, definitely hit the like button. Um, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. I do stream on Twitch every single day, 9 p.m. Central, twitch.tv slash Rotomon. I hope you like it. I'll catch you next time. Y'all have a good one.